All right, guys, real fast, real quick. I've gone ahead and I got this put on. What I did was I took a hacksaw, a sawzall, and I actually cut the bolt in here. Okay, this is part two to doing my trailing arm. Again, if you don't have one of these, go get you one. This one will save your life. I already got the upper trailer arm out. You see, I'm about to put the new one in. And, you know, this one will actually just go right in there. No problems like the other side gave me. The bolts already have thread locker, but I'm going to go ahead and get that done. Let me show you how to get that up there and out of the way. Hopefully, y'all can see what I'm about to do. Okay, this piece, trash. You don't need that. This came with new bolts. So, you know, you see, already thread locker. You want to take it on. Wait, let me see. How did this one come out? Okay. I think I got it. Alright, so you want to put that side in first. Wait. I'm trying to remember how this was. It went in this way because you got um, another nut on there. Take that, put that in there like that. And this also comes with a new one of these. You take that, slide that on down in there. Then you take your bolt, slide that through. And then the rest is pretty much tightening everything down. Oh, and I also want to show you how this too. You also want to get some grease. I got some grease right here. Then you want to grease your shanks. If you don't know what a shank is, I'll show you. This is your shank. This is the part that'll rotate around as the car moves up and down. Okay, so uh, I don't have a plastic glove. Shit. Oh. So, you want to take some grease. I use the same grease I will use for my hubs. Go ahead and grease it. Grease the shank. You don't want to get any on the threads, but you definitely want to grease the shank. Get that back in there. Take some grease, add some to this shank. You don't want to use too much, but just enough. That way that thing don't seize up. Okay, take this glove off. Now, all we gotta do is tighten down our bolts. And yeah, that's pretty much how you change the lower and the upper trailing arm. This one actually went right into place and I'm actually really proud of that. But this was part two. I just wanted to show y'all that, you know, it's a pretty simple job. Well, not too simple, but trust me, you can do it if you try. This, this project actually took me some days. I'm going to add some extra thread locker on there, too. Just a little bead. That'll do. Okay. Take this nut. You want to screw that on there. 
being as though these are fresh threads. All right, where's my glove? I'm tightening everything down. And torque it down the spec. I believe that is uh, 24. No, 22. Now, correct. And also, I'm going to show you the bolt that I cut. This is the bolt I cut out of this one. If you don't want to waste your time, grab your saw saw, get in here in like the crevice, and cut it. Bend it down, cut it. It saved me a whole lot of time. All right, make sure that's tightening. Wait, this has to go in a little more. I'm just going to take the socket and use the socket to kind of thread that in there. Thread it in enough to get my ratchet on the back of it. Alright guys, I'm going to switch over here. I'm not going to hold y'all up, but that is how you change these control arms. And you're going to, again, you're going to want to get in alignment. Don't be a fool. If you change these, go get yourself in alignment. These front ones, they do have keepers, so you don't need to hold the nut. <laughs> and then, pretty much, that'll be it. You see new control arms. I'm still going to replace this because this is pretty old, as you see. I'm going to replace this airbag, and I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Thank you for tuning in, and remember, if you need any advice for a car, my videos will help and trailing arms aren't no joke. I'm going to tell you that now. Y'all be blessed and stay safe. This is OJ's Automotive signing out.